I'm just sorting out all this rubbish. There's so much of it. It is amazing how much rubbish there is in Jungle Cafe in just two days. What's all this mess, Chef Jeff? Are you tidying out your cupboards? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would be a very untidy person indeed if I stored all of this in my cupboards. No, this is Jungle Cafe's rubbish that I'm sorting out. Is this a month's worth of rubbish? <laughs> no, actually, it's a bit less than that. It's only two days. Two days? Yeah. You made all of this rubbish in two days? It wasn't just me. It was the whole cafe. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how much rubbish your family has to throw out every week? We have two or three black bags of rubbish. We leave it for the municipality to collect it. But we don't leave it on the table like this first. You mean you don't reuse and recycle it? What do you mean? Well, if you look at this jar, you see it's nice and white and it's got a good lid on it. So I could use it again. Uh, in winter, I could make jam out of oranges and store it in here. All I need to do is give it a wash and it's as good as new, so I can reuse it. <laughs> so, if you didn't use it again, wouldn't it end up being broken and hurting someone where the rubbish is? Well, if I don't reuse it, I can take it to a nearby glass recycling box. <laughs> what, what? Huh? Recycling? What does he mean? Is he going to cycle on the glass or make it into a bicycle? How can he? A glass bicycle would be very dangerous and not very steady at all. What, what? Why is he taking the glass to be cycled? What's the recycling box? Well, there's a place where you can take all the glass so that it can be recycled. What they do is they take all the glass and jars and things and they crush them. And then they heat the crushed glass so that it melts. And when it melts, it can be made into new glass objects. What about this type of bottle? Can this be melted and made into another one? Well, that bottle's made of plastic, and plastic is a bit of a problem. Why? Well, there are many different types of plastic, eh? And all of them have to be recycled in different ways. Some of them can't even be broken down at all. When plastic is recycled, it is shredded and recycled according to its color. So, what happens to the plastic we throw away? Well, it's just buried or just left on the ground. But look at all the things here that are made of plastic. And this is just for two days. And then, think about all the cafes and all the houses in South Africa that use plastic. You mean all the rubbish is just buried or left somewhere? Yes! And unlike other materials, plastic doesn't rot or break down over time. Uh, people usually compact rubbish. They squash it into small, hard bundles so that it takes up less space, huh? <laughs> but if we keep using plastic as much as we do, won't we eventually run out of space to bury it? Yes, and when we burn plastic, it releases fumes that are very poisonous. People are concerned about that. They're concerned about things like plastic and their effect on the environment. I'm worried too. Can you imagine the whole world filled with rubbish? <laughs> yes, well then you better make sure you reuse and recycle as much as you can. It helps when we use things that, that are biodegradable. What do you mean? Well, it's a really good word and it's quite easy to understand. It's bio... ...like biology and... and de 
biodegradable, which means that it can be degraded or changed. Biodegradable means that it's been broken down by bacteria and very, very small things living in the earth. So if you look at this apple core, for example, and it's lying on the ground, it'll, over a long period of time, be broken down and become part of the earth. That's why I've separated all these cores and peels over here so that I can make compost. What's compost? Oh no, don't tell me you're gonna boil all these things up and serve them to us in a pie. <laughs> no, compost is made when things like peels are broken down and they make the soil richer so that they help other things to grow. How does this potato peel here get broken down? Well, first of all, uh, ants, snails and earthworms help to break it down into smaller pieces. And then bacteria, tiny organisms in all living things, help to break it down even further until it becomes part of the soil. Bacteria are called decomposers. Oh, like my TV, like bodies decompose? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same sort of thing. These peels help to make the soil richer by adding nutrients. So we can say that we are recycling these peels and making the enriched soil grow more potatoes. Look at all this paper as well. Whenever my mom sees me using paper, she says I'm going to kill another tree. Well, paper is made from trees, as you know, but we must be very careful not to use too much of it, otherwise we have to cut down too many trees. Paper is recycled, so when you look at these newspapers, they can be wet and made into a mush and then dried and made into paper again. We should be careful not to waste paper in the first place. We have to reduce the amount of materials that we use. And what about these tins? Well, that's a kind of metal called aluminium. Like we saw with the glass, the aluminium can be heated and then melted and made into other cans. Wow, in my family, we just use everything and throw them away in the dustbin. A lot of people in South Africa do. But in some countries where it's smaller and very crowded, people are very worried about the amount of rubbish. So, they do what I do. They separate their rubbish into things that can be reused or recycled. But you must encourage your families to do the same thing. It's certainly much better for the environment. Come guys, let's finish sorting the stuff out. Yeah, we can put all the metal in one place. Yeah, good stuff. And all the plastic in another place. And keep all the peels together so I can make compost, right? Thanks, guys. Maybe. Yep, yep. Maybe. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you whispering? Hey, well, there's, there's a thief out there. Where? There. Where? Shh. I don't know where, but he's there. How do you know? How do you know he's there? You know those old socks of mine that had all the holes in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're gone. Along with that old pair of uh, underpants. You know the ones with the... Ah, uh... Marvin. Hmm? I know which ones you mean. They haven't been stolen. I've got them. Yeah? How? Why have you got my socks and underpants? Hey, they were old, weren't they? And you were going to throw them out. Yeah, so? Well, I'm reusing them. What do you mean? What? You're wearing them? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm going to use them as cleaning clothes. Hey, hey, you are going to use my socks and underpants to clean things? Yes, but first I'm going to boil them in very, very hot water. And then I'm going to boil them in bleach. And then boil them in hot water again. And then I'm yeah, going to boil all right, all right, I get the picture. Yeah. Hey. Thank you guys for helping me sort out all this rubbish. We sorted it out into paper and metal and plastic and peels and stuff and then glass. <laughs> it really made the whole thing go really fast. I never really thought about rubbish before, but from now onwards, I'm going to make sure my family reduces, 
reuses and recycles the things in our home. Me too. <laughs> Great. And to thank you for helping me, here's a bar of chocolate we can all share. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Jeff. There's no chance of us wasting this kind of food. We could recycle the paper, though. Think carefully about what you throw away. It could be worth a lot. Something that isn't useful today could really hit the spot. You can recycle and reuse, reuse and recycle. Stay the same, it really helps to know. Hit it, break it, call it another name, and have another go. You can recycle and reuse, reuse and recycle. And don't forget to reduce the use of things that make you scared. La 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 la. Now I know what recycling is. It's got nothing to do with bicycles. You can take some things and change them into other things by using heat or water. Yeah, you can also reuse things. And the best news, what what, is that my banana peels will help the soil to make even better bananas. Have a look at the rubbish your family throws out every week. What else could you use it for? See you next time. Bye! Bye. Carefully, but what you throw away, it could be worth a lot. Something that isn't useful today could really hit the spot. You can recycle and reuse. And recycle When it doesn't always stay the same It really helps to know Hit it, break it, call it another name And have another go You can recycle and reuse Reuse and recycle And don't forget to reduce the use of things That make you scared La 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 